Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Letting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So today, let's just hop in and get a message. Actually, they kind of give a little bit of insight. They wanted to use the Archangel, um, Ar Archangel, archetype cards. Um, they were saying that there's just one personality or one trait that um, seems to get overlooked a lot. And so they wanted us to take a look at it. <laughs> so what was that? Mm, I threw it and I picked it up so many different ways. So I don't know if it was in the upright or if it was in the reverse. And they're saying exactly that what's, that's what needs to be worked on. And so the card that flew out was lover. So the lover and the upright attributes, it is great passion and devotion, unbridling appreciation of someone or something. That sounds like what love is. Ish, not the unconditional kind. This one is more on something. Let me read that again. Great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation of someone or something. So in the shadow attribute, it is obsessive passion that harms others. Self-destructive devotion. To be honest, I'm not getting um, any story come through. So let's, let's pull the other ones. Because I don't even know what about that. It seems to be the problem. And you know what's funny? There's one card that did not come out. And it was in... Um, a previous reading when we did this. Was it a previous reading? Yeah, it was. And it was the mother card. So it's something to do with the the mother energy blocking this. So when I listen, it what I'm getting is like the way that you were raised or the loving, nurturing energy that you had from your mom um, affects if it's in the upright or if it's um, in the shadow attribute. So one is unbridled appreciation, great passion for something, while the other one is obsessive and it harms and it's more self-destructive. So that could be a need to wanting to control people, but they're saying read the attributes in this. So based on how your mom was while you were growing up and the energy that you got, um, in the light would have been nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy, and giving birth to life. So the thing that stood out for me in that was unconditional love. The love is associated between these two. And in the shadow, um, smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. Hold up. Again, it has to do, okay, what stood out was the unconditional love and um, the instilling guilt for becoming independent. And so what am I seeing? I'm seeing almost like someone have children. Um, and for those children, it's almost like a, a hierarchy kind of thing. And so like, you know, you have to take care of right? We always take care of the seniors. It's kind of like one of those traditional loops. Um, but in this case, it's almost like I see the adults having children for the children to almost like do work for them. It's like the kid doesn't really get to go out and do what they want. It's like, well, no, you have to do what we want. And so the, the flow doesn't really go down. It goes up based on how you were raised from your feminine um caregiver so they say oh there was another deck we were supposed to pull and that's why i feel like i don't have the whole story because i don't think i pulled these cards yet no i didn't but why sometimes i just have to shuffle and that's that's like the meditative um like this is my meditation la, la, la. all the insights come while i'm shuffling so two this is a kerfuffle what do we got <laughs> we got parents and this is what i said was a kerfuffle because these ones wanted to come out 
And then there was a third one. I was supposed to grab three. And then as these came out, it said, it came out this way. It said, you're a powerful light worker. So in that mother card, it said, keeping them independent, like independent, um, stopping that. <laughs> and so that is you, you are this really bright light. And, and so I do feel like someone did try to stop that. It is stopping you. Um, what I'm getting is there was someone who was constricting or smothering or something or too nosy or too man manipulative. They just really wanted in on your life plans. Um, they have a say in everything that you do and everyone that you dated and everything. And I'm getting that actually none of it was good enough. It was like what they wanted. And, and that's a lot of cultures. But I'm also seeing someone now, I'm seeing a masculine energy and like their mom being unstable and so with that um not having that unconditional love and nurturing and maybe what i'm seeing is like you need to take care of your mom um in a different way not so much just do things for me you know go to the store go do this go pick up your brother go like you, this one's more like you take care of me like it's more of a friend friend dynamic or i don't know it's just a not it's an unhealthy dynamic they say and so because there is that unhealthy dynamic with the mother energy um this one can't thrive especially if you okay now i'm picking up on like a mama's boy like um girls guys whatever um when you're way too close to your mom and it's like that's your person and you're sharing all the secrets and then you do get a partner well that partner starts to feel like uncomfortable it's like i don't want your family to know all my secrets like why can't we have our own thing that's coming out and so what i did think was interesting was i showed you that where did it go oh, the parent oh yeah this was you this was saying that you're this powerful one who kind of got trapped into not being independent where it was more focused on the parents and what you could do for them because you are powerful. So they're like, hey, let's harness this light to, um, I'm just hearing that it's a system that's like, well, your parents did it for the, your grandparents and like, that's just how it was supposed to go. But, um, it's not really empowering the other the other way. It's empowering those who came before us. And so it's almost like this energy is saying, because I was born before you, you owe me. And I don't see how that energetically works out as a thing at all. So there is this forgiveness, because I feel like whatever your parents did, um, it wasn't it wasn't what you needed. It's not what you wanted to thrive. And so maybe there was a bit of a rift when it comes between your parents and the mother energy, especially. Maybe your parents fought a lot or something. And because of that, you you don't trust, right? There's so many things and we watch, and that's how I learn the most, is like go out, especially caregiving for like the elderly. I do that a lot. Um, I love learning from their lessons. Um, but you know, you can go out, you can hear the stories, but sometimes you need to actually, um, be in that energy to understand it. <clears throat> and so what I'm getting is you are in that energy. Um, and so you do understand it, but no, you don't understand it. They say you are in the energy, but there's still a bit of learning or healing to do from it. It wants to like, let go of that especially with your parents. Um, they tried the best with what they know. And, and, and when you forgive whatever this is, it does create that new energy for healthier partnerships to come through. Because in this one, I do get that some had great relationships and some didn't, but it's the ones that are, that weren't the great relationships. Um, they never made the choices for themselves. They never really um, became independent. And so that's what this is coming. Because now I bet what they're saying is like you're older in life. And it's like, who am I now? Because um, I went for whatever this mother figure energy wanted, right? Because it was the job, the career, the, the partner. And I did what they all wanted. But here I am maybe later in life and, and being at the beginning again. And now I get to start with what I want. So it's saying there is this forgiveness to come through and it starts with the parents. 
It says, the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you for the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. Then what do we have? We have shield yourself. We have throat chakra in reverse and heart chakra in reverse. So from all those reversals, right, the throat and the heart, not being able to speak up what you want. Um, it could be that things were said to you from someone's closed heart chakra that was rude and you needed to shield yourself from that, right? It almost like kind of belittles and and makes you think that you're not this powerful light worker, but you are this powerful light worker. And it said the best of their ability. So I do feel like that there's so many things that you wanted to say. What I am seeing is a lot of it coming to you. And because of that, it shuts you down. That's where that shielding comes from. Um, it's almost like an energetic protective bubble. So when these things hit you, um, like it bounces off. Like we don't need to infuse that into us, become our truth, and then realize, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't true. And then have to shed it later and, and deprogram ourselves from unlearning it. Because that's why I feel this this is stuck so i want to read it again great in the upright great passion and devotion unbridled appreciation of someone or something so that's just holding space and and the butterfly is the the perfect example i remember someone talking to them and it was and i was like well you don't want to control something like if you have this partner that you love so much like why would you want to control the way they think or dress and the amount of makeup they wear, things like that. And uh, I was like, why? You'd want them to be like the butterfly that like comes and sits and you appreciate its beauty. Because the more you try to contain it, that's when you got problems on your hands. And so it is to be open. So this heart chakra, how do we open the heart chakra? Because what I feel is that the heart and the throat are dusty, they say. It's like, she's like checking it and it's like, do I even got a pulse? Like, how, cause, cause it's so dis, I want to say disconnected or removed from that individual start point. So at that start point, there were two paths. You could have done what people wanted you to do, or you could have done what you wanted. And so now it's that taking into account, what do you want? And I do have a feeling that this has to do with love. You do want love. And we're so um, afraid to admit that we want that because maybe it won't happen. Or maybe I want it so much and it will never happen and I'll get my hopes up and crushed. Or, you know, I like this person and I want to go tell them, but get my hopes up and crushed. A lot of it is just crushing. That's the energy that's coming through. And, and it's... because it's becoming obsessive, they say. Because in the negative, obsessive passion that harms others. That's that crushing of the butterfly. That's that choking, not saying what you want. That's that telling your heart, because your heart is way smarter than your brain, but your heart is telling you, and you're like, no heart, like you don't know what you want. And so when you, when the heart is sending the message and the throat stopping it, that's where we have like that frog in our throat feeling or um something like that you know so it's saying to let's give it a read so the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth because i feel frustration when it comes to the parents especially when it comes to that forgiveness card which is here somewhere oh be willing that's why i can't find it be willing to forgive I think I'm being drawn up here. The first thing that needs to happen is you actually have to want to forgive. It's almost like you have to admit what you really, really want and how you want to love and how you want your heart to be. We can think how we think a happy ending is and then um, we gotta let that go because we were dealt with the cards that we were dealt with. It said your parents tried the best of their ability. I remember we got this card in the past one time and it came out and we said that and they're like, no, they actually didn't. And this reading I'm getting, they did try because it was either a pattern or a loop or something or a family way of life. 
And so it's for you to actually think about what you want. If you don't have a sense of identity or know what you want, um, it's just a reflection. Um, because I see the end game and it's almost like when we see that, that's what we become obsessed about. But it's now being in the moment and opening the heart in the moment. You can still not have this figured out but your heart can be balanced and healed to attract that but this isn't going to come until the throat and the heart um are unblocked so how can we unblock it well they said you didn't even read the heart one yet it said you're a powerful light worker you're going to unblock it um, so now we're coming here to forgiveness, the, the crown and the heart. I'm not saying that when it comes to forgiveness that you just accept people with crummy behavior back into your life and forget like it never happened. But it's that forgiving of the action that was done to you and you having that um, angry, I'm a victim. Why did this happen to me? Why me? Why me? Um, and then that disempowering you. Because you're not disempowered, you're a powerful light worker. So, angels are trying to help you. It says, the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So, it went back to the parents. And it's saying, even though you don't quite have the right idea of what you want or how you want it or something, whatever that is that you're trying to attach, um... You can give that love to everyone. And so in this case, the parents did try their best. And so you send love to them because they tried. It just wasn't exactly the best for you. But again, old systems and things like that and old belief patterns uh, really die hard. And I hear they die with you because I do feel like it was either someone, a mom, I don't know. There's so many stories in this. Every family dynamic and how parents raise you were different. But in one of them, it was like the mom trying to be the friend. In one of them, the mom was really messy. In one of them, the parents fought too much and you didn't want to go and have a relationship like that. And another one, they, they used you to always like um, do things for them. It was almost like you were their servant. Um, and another one, right? And another one, like literally the stories that we tell ourselves um we can easily stop telling ourselves those stories and and find the healing from that because it said you can shield yourself from whatever bullshit keeps coming to you let's say it is being like well i was born before you so you need to do things for me um you owe me i gave you life you owe me that's what i, I pick up a lot and it's like um, you're in charge of yourself. You don't owe anyone anything, right? We do have our responsibilities. If you had children, then you would take care of your children, but there is a time. And, and so your choices shield yourself from this. Cause I feel like this, they'll, they'll always tell you that what you're doing isn't right. You're not on the right path. You're supposed to be taking care of them. You're supposed to be doing something. And and as I said, I feel like you did it in the past. And then, so now here you are again and whatever your parents wanted fell apart because it wasn't based on your foundation of your powerful light worker energy. And this is you. So even if you built it on something faulty, this light is just gonna crack anything. It will because it's so powerful and potent. So it's saying, Forgive that and, and to shield yourself. If you are being bombarded with things that constantly, like you're out there, you're doing your healing, you're doing your whatever work, and then you, you talk to these people and it's just like, ugh. That's that energetic bubble, the column, the column of light. Like it's not going to penetrate into it because it's it's not our thoughts, it's not our beliefs, so we don't need that. Um, so, forgiveness. You need to clear your mind, body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. And that's what I think is every time you go, this memory comes and it almost trigger, triggers it in your body, right? The, 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 
things are still in your cells, that memory. So there is a bit of um, physical activity that we need to work through. And that's why they're showing now. You're a powerful light worker and heart chakra. I'm almost seeing like getting your, your cardiovascular up or your heart pumping and, and those energies going um, to clear out that just stagnant kind of thing. And that's going to build your light a bit more so that you don't take it in and absorb other people. And when you do find that you aren't taking in as much, I think that's where the clear mind will come because now you're starting to think for yourself. You're starting to be yourself. And and you're like, people will ask you and you, you'll be able to think and know quickly. Oh yeah, I really want to do that. Oh no, I don't want to do that. And so now there's choice. And so to start it all is to shield yourself from negativity. But if you are, if you've had negativity come into your shield, um, that forgiveness and healing um, because you didn't stand up for yourself that's a perfect opportunity for you to learn to get a stronger backbone to learn how to speak what you mean to say what you mean to think clearly I don't know there's so many lessons in all this and that's what our parents are for us they are our greatest lessons because what they have is working for them but even if you weren't born, they would have still had their system. So you, you are allowed to create your own whatever it is you want because you're a powerful light worker. It's safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual, <laughs> your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. So a lot of this was asking your angels. Because um, we do have our parents, like our mom and dad, but I do feel like we have like this motherly, fatherly guide energy as well. And so let's say your parents don't give you that energy that you always needed to learn how to be this unconditional, um, unbridled appreciation of something. Well, that's what spirit has for you. So you do have the reference to go back to on what unconditional love is that we don't want to control and manipulate you. We just want you to unfold at your pace. It said, the answer's in your heart. So once your mind stops soaking in everyone else's information, it starts being clear. That's when the, the reversal happens. That's when you speak up for what you want. And when you speak up, I feel like there's going to be healing between you and your family and your parents and then um, partner partnerships. I'm getting... Is, I'm like, is this mostly single people? But I was like, no, that there's actually people. It's everything. Everything. It's a love for life. And so for those already in partnerships, it's just going to be a little bit um, less, less conflict when we do find how to let go of that obsessiveness. And that obsessiveness I'm hearing is that um, obsessiveness to please others that we learned from our parents. So we'll stop it there. I feel like that's a good spot. So we'll leave it there. Have a good day. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.